just gonna introduce me to the yoga pose, everybody. Cyber, <laughs> cyber facing scarecrow. Um, I just want to thank you all so much for coming. I don't um, know all of you personally, but you have to understand for me that this is completely surreal. I've had um, fictitious book launches in my bathroom mirror at 2 a.m. <laughs> numerous times. I've had it in empty living rooms thanking my throw pillows for coming. <laughs> so the fact that there are actual people here, people who I love, my friends, my family, friends of family, friends of friends. There are some people from the restaurant downstairs who have come to use the bathroom. <laughs> but I, it means so much to me for all of you to be here and supporting like or on sort of a grassroots level. This has been a ridiculously long process for me. I had no idea. It basically started with journal entries, and then when I had a mind-numbing job in San Francisco, I brought my journals into my job in room service. <laughs> and in between um, taking... Is this... It's cool, it's like a remix of a speech. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in between taking room service orders of people spending like $3,000 a night on their room, I would basically hold the phone away from my head and I'm like, okay, what, you want shumai with your dim sum? Okay, shumai. And I was basically just editing through my journal entries that way and I wrote a book. <laughs> so, this was years and years ago. Wrote the book and thought, what do I do after that? So I researched literary agents. Eventually, after years, found a literary agent. But the publishing world was like, we don't know who you are, which is a common theme in my life. My own father asks me, who is this, when I call on the phone. <laughs> so that was to be expected. So after a few years of being rejected by the publishing world, I thought, whatever, let's just try it on my own. And the fact that all of you are here supporting that means everything, because that's <laughs> House. I hope you all come again and we'll be like, yeah, now what's up? <laughs> um, I just want to thank my parents for being incredibly patient. I lived at home with my parents. This is basically a love letter to them because they're the weirdest, most fantastic roommates I've ever had. They let me live there, they were patient with me, and they let me just take the time to become who I am. And that's the most anyone can hope for from parents, just like patience and support. And you're everything that that involves. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, I want to thank my sister Sabrina. A lot of you are Sabrina's friends. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Sabrina's very good at organizing people. <laughs> I'd like to thank my sister Vanessa. She's always there to tease me and to put things in perspective. We almost missed the book launch today because we were stuck in traffic and she's like, you waited about seven years to be published and you missed your book launch. <laughs> so she helps, helps keep things in perspective. I want to thank my amazing girlfriend Meredith for helping me these last two months and she just believed in me and she's like, okay, you fired your agent and you're going to publish your book. And she started with to-do lists and one by one we checked them off and now we're all here. So thanks for that. That's awesome. Yay. And thank all of you so much. Okay, so that's sort of my Oscar speech. And now, just a little excerpt. For those of you who don't know what the book is about, it's uh, life after college, graduating, not knowing what you want to do, kind of being like flummoxed by that uncertainty. And it's a lot of stories about my family, that period of time, living at home in my small town. And this little excerpt that I'm going to read is from the first chapter. And it basically deals with my anxiety related to events, like any event. So this was right after my, during my college graduation, just completely overwhelmed by what was happening, not really knowing. So with that, um, I think I have a rare pituitary disorder that causes me to sweat in social situations. Yes, this is not involved, but I'm totally sweating now. <laughs> or celebrations, or venues where cake is served, or cards are exchanged. Basically, any event with the expectation of memory formation causes me to perspire. My sweat glands are probably just trying to make up for the rest of my body's disinterest. I appreciate what certain events stand for, but I just get so overwhelmed by the proceedings leading up to the events that I can't remember feeling a, si a single emotion. I remember sweating profusely, but they don't make greeting cards about sweat. <laughs> I've learned. Okay. I've learned that if a 
greeting card can be bought for it, the moment will probably be lost on me. I don't like to think that times can be defined by rhyming stanzas, or that cartoons could somehow, clever cartoons could somehow enhance the memory. Should we keep going? Yeah, yeah. All right, Mike, just push through. Mike, yeah. Everybody, this is part of the art, really. This is the moment. Um, and that most people use them in lieu of actually saying anything almost completely negates all meaning. You've had a child. This bird wearing pants has something to say about that. I hope this displays how important you are to me and how happy I am for you. My mother loves cards. My older sister, Sabrina, loves cards. Every year since I can remember, Sabrina has given my mother a card that has made her cry. Birthdays, holidays, anniversaries, they're all occasion to seal tears in a covered, colored envelope. When my mother reads the card and inevitably cries, Sabrina inhales deeply and sort of puffs up with a silent cry, <laughs> looking to me and my younger sister Vanessa as if, as if to say, beat that. <laughs> I always look at her flatly with no pride, inhaled or otherwise, to say, I can't. <laughs> I didn't even buy a card. My birthday present mom is to not make her cry. <laughs> but nice job with yours. <laughs> Today is my college graduation. The card aisle of the grocery store tells me that this is an event. That in itself is enough to turn me off to the, the whole thing. Perhaps this void of emotion on days of importance stems from my early experiences surrounding occasions. When we were kids and my parents were, went on a date together, it was always a big deal. My father's jo job on his farm rarely allowed for such a treat. And as a result, our house was turned into backstage at Radio City in the hours leading up to their dinner and a movie. <laughs> Buying new outfits and cutting off the tags, the roar of the blow dryers, the steam from the bathroom. If you listen carefully during these times, you'd hear my mother's battle cry. She lives for this shit. <laughs> I, in a word, don't. Oh, cue the music. Yeah. <laughs> Close the mouth. Yes. Yeah, Sabrina used to help my mom accessorize and line up her makeup while Vanessa would put on one of my, bra my mother's bras over her pajamas and walk around yelling, fashion show! <laughs> I would always be in the living room watching TV, waiting to be, and this is true, breath tester. <laughs> Once they were both ready to leave, my mother would bend down and say, smell my breath. <sighs> Breathing twice on my face. Middle children, which I am, have forever been breath testers. <laughs> but that combined smell of scope and lipstick told me that we'd soon be eating babysitter food of chicken nuggets and crinkle cut fries. As a result, all this preparation for special occasions that were created in me was a craving for frozen foods and an aversion to being breathed on. <laughs> so basically, this is an event. I get it. It's a huge event. It's a milestone marker in my life, and I appreciate every one of you being here. Um, the microphone? Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope that you enjoy the book. If you read it, um, if you find something funny in it, I hope that you tell a friend. Um, I have business cards. If you could like me on Facebook and more than like my close friends and my family members, <laughs> like me on Facebook, that'd be cool. Um, but thanks again for everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope that you have a fun night. Yeah. Okay, cheers. <laughs>